Well, good morning everyone. Welcome to day two of our cruise here on Wonder of the Seas. We've just got up. It's currently about eight o'clock. We're gonna wander through Central Park, go down a level, grab ourselves a little Starbucks this morning. Little let uh, wake me up. So it is a sea day today. So no huge plans. We're gonna explore a bit more of the ship, do some different things, and maybe, maybe do the wave machine. Well, yeah. That is quite cool, isn't yeah. it? Quite cool that. Do enjoy walking through Central Park in the morning. Yeah, let's go and grab a coffee. I haven't had a Starbucks for a few days. I'm having withdrawals, Laura. Oh my god. I'm having withdrawals. And we'll get coffee a bit later on. <laughs> uh, I mean breakfast, sorry. See? They don't have a Starbucks, they can't function. See what they should do. It's got the bionic arm to make your coffee now. I'd love that. Imagine the bionic arm making your caramel latte each morning. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's nice and uh, calm down here. You've got the cafe promenade serving little bits of breakfast. And then the uh, Starbucks is hidden behind the big silver hat. Just love the theming around the ship. I think it's amazing. Right down to the floor tiles, everything about it. Yeah. And everything's just finished in such high quality. I did Google it yesterday. 1.35 billion this ship cost to build. Unbelievable, but they are in the process of building an even bigger, better ship than this one, if you can. Uh, Icon of the Seas, that comes out next year. And that's costing 2 billion to build. Imagine what's on that. Crazy, I mean, how can you, can you get much bigger and better? Absolutely insane. So very efficient at Starbucks, it really helps, they've got no mobile orders and all that coming in, the baristas can just focus on the people in front of them. So yeah, we've got our coffees, we're going to head up to Central Park now to drink them. And then Laura later wants to try that new Java chocolate chip thing. Yeah. And you want to try that? What level? Uh, so uh, level 8. So we're going to drink these in uh, Central Park, so they'll be breezy today. It's not choppy, but it's not super flat at sea, and the sun hasn't really broken through the clouds yet. Bit of a slightly ropey start to the day, but we're not too worried so far at this point. We've had a lot of sun yesterday, so for me, I would be avoiding the sun today anyway. But yeah, not the, uh, not the greatest of starts to the day, but I've got to say, it looks quite choppy. I'm not feeling a single rock of the ship again. It's uh, lovely and flat, the ship. The modern ships now, they manage to stay so flat. I don't even think the stabilizers would be out at this point. No, so insane, flat and calm, so isn't it? No, normally I've got like my sea legs by now and you've got a little bit of a wobble going on. Nothing on this, nothing. Right, where are we sitting, Lord? Near the bed, tweeping, we can... So we've got the benches here. Oh, okay. Wants to be part of the vlog. Yeah. Well, it's not quite Celebration Lake, but I've got a safer cruise ship. It's pretty near on. The sound of the birds, obviously I know they're fake and they're little different noises. So do you feel like a big celebration? Well, yeah, you don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm on a ship. And it, for being on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, it's, it's not far off. You know, incredible design. And what they've sort of done is, rather than having the stuff around the edges of a cruise ship like they normally do, everything is all through the middle. And I do quite like that design. There's no real outside deck. Would be the only sort of downside of having this design. There's no deck where you can walk all the way around the ship on the outside. Apart from the very, very top deck. There's none of those. And the woman track, then the woman track's not really. Yeah. Um, so they've sort of taken that away and gone for this different style of design. But if you are a regular cruiser, yeah. if you've done Royal Caribbean, if you've done Oasis class ships, do let me know your thoughts on them uh, in the comments. Would you do another one? Did you like the design? Was there anything you would change? Yeah. Would you change anything more? I would, like you said, have a nice bar at the back in the open air so I could see. We do like seeing that. Other than that... We like seeing the views. That's the only slight thing it's missing is a bar with sort of a little view of the ocean out the back or 
um, we struggled to find a nice outdoor bar that wasn't you know by the pool in the smoking area and things a lot of the bars are really coolly themed but they're all like on deck five or deck four or deck six there's not one that's like at the back i would have loved a nice one at the back as you say nice overlooking the yeah. the view of the ocean a bit of a sea view I would, that's the only thing i would say it's missing is what it's a nice outdoor bar with yeah. a view yeah. yeah that's the only thing really but then but then, yeah, they're more. The yeah, their market is uh, obviously they've done their market research, and people probably more want the themed bars on the deck five rather than ocean view bars, I suppose. Yeah, it's interesting. We've got a lot more of the ship to still to explore. We've not even covered half of it, probably. Yeah. The only other small criticism. criticism uh, we would make or Laura would make because I didn't really go in was that the spa was on deck um oh my god deck four or five was it yeah and it was literally right next to the end room and I was sitting there in the waiting room because it's over two floors so I sat in the waiting room and I heard the almightiest of bangs and I'm like what's going on and then this sound that I could only describe as something else a sci-fi movie I was like oh my god it sounds like they only get the laser that when it all like and transforms and they make those noises yeah sounds like that and I was just sitting there like this. and then I went into the room and I, went, and I heard it all again and I said to the, to the girl, I said, what's all these noises? She went on top of the engine room. I went, oh really? Said, yeah, I went, I've not heard or felt that uh, this boat moved at all, so I don't feel it now. And then, it wasn't bad for me, but for you, you will enjoy that. Yeah, I just think that the spa being on those lower levels, the spa looked phenomenal, as you saw in the vlog, but on the likes of the Disney Dream, it was on like deck 12, while you're having a massage, you had an ocean view and things like that. Being down on those lower decks, I don't think that is, is as nice. Especially if you're going to hear an engine room while you're getting yeah. a massage and things. So for you and people who really want to relax, it's not great. Yeah. But for me, I can just relax. You won't be bothered. Fine. Yeah. So that's but yeah, if I was going to pay that much yeah. for a massage, I'd want to be up on one of the higher decks with a view of the ocean. Yeah. And but it was as well at the time we were moving. Yeah. So we were ju we were um, just leaving Coco Cay, so that's why it was getting the, the way engines it was. going and that. Yeah. So maybe if you got it and it was just floating on today, like now, yeah. what feeling? Still, I'd, I'd want to be high up with those ocean views. I'm afraid Disney Dream, that massage oh, where I had a, a view out to the ocean, was amazing. So yeah, they're the only two little things we'd mention, but uh, we'll uh, explore the rest of the ship and uh, keep you updated. Ooh, Andrew's meals looking lovely. Some nice sausages, hash browns, and beans there. I had that yesterday. I had, I had mine with eggs. Well, I think yeah. Hash browns, nice. Just simple breakfast, really. Don't want to go too nuts. I don't really have breakfast, do I? No. See, I was going to get a cereal, but now I think I might get that. Just a small one. Yeah, I might just get a small one and see what happens. And it is six chances with two scratch cards. There we go. And these scratch cards, you can win up to, one second, I need to see again, $25,000. We need to hear it. Ooh. There we go. On these scratch cards. So, and if you uh, win on the scratch cards, you're going to claim it in the casino. So for $30, you get six chances and two scratch cards. But then for $40, you get. <laughs> there we go. We get nine chances and four scratch cards. Yeah, oh, sure we like that. So you've got thirty dollars, which is six chances. Forty dollars, which is nine and four. And then for an extra three dollars, you can buy a bingo marker. So you can mark off your numbers. Mark, mark, mark. And that is all you need to know. We have four people selling, so you can come on over to these two lovely ladies. We've come from breakfast straight to bingo. So we got our two big packages. They had a $30 package and the $40. We went for the $40. Uh, we also got a couple of extra bonus tickets because we are at gold members. So we did get a couple of extra free tickets there as well. Plenty of chances to win, Laurie. Got to keep up. Yeah, plus 
some of the packs you see people buying again. Oh yeah, people are getting oh, crazy packs. Uh, if you want to save three dollars each, bring your own bingo dabber if you're into your bingo. Or just a pencil or whatever, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, they do charge you for the dabbers. We are excited for this. It should be good, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I always lose though. I get angry when I don't lose. Oh Especially come on, more it's bingo. <laughs> So we've got four of these each, so what you need to do is scratch those off and then you match any of your numbers to any of the lucky numbers and win the prize of the money below. So I'm just going to go first. Here we go, Lord. 25 grand. <laughs> Let's have a look. 28, 27, 40, 29. Four. Well, we've spotted Dad in the queue down there. Dad's uh, eagerly waiting for his tickets down there. Mum's here as well, so we've got the family come to play a bit of bingo. Can't be bad. So we've just come down onto the promenade here, you've got Playmakers, this is the sports bar we're in on our first day, so watch the game. Opposite that you've got Sugar Beach which is ice cream and sweets, you've got a kids shop there as well which is just for all your kids stuff. Little kids play area just here, you have got Johnny Rockets as well, burgers meant to be really good in there. And then right back here is the Aqua Theatre, I'll show you a little bit more of that in a moment, so we're going to be there tonight, meant to be the best show on the ocean that is meant to be one of the best shows any cruise ship has got. Very exciting. Laura's just had a uh, caramel, caramel frappuccino, frappuccino second like Starbucks caramel. of the day. And, uh, got mum and dad here as well. Dad's having an English tea. Mum's having one of her favorite cheese danishes that you can only get in America from Starbucks. Enjoying See? yourselves, well, English you know tea. What, what, if you call it English tea, I asked for two tea bags. Yeah. Uh, I'm in for a moan here. But I've paid for this. Right, you have to I could pee stronger. Oh, well. Have you seen the state of that? Well, you put too much milk in, haven't you? No, not enough tea. Not enough tea. Here we go. So, Laura's just taking Jude on the carousel. They're coming round now. Go on the little swan that you sit down on. <laughs> and also, here comes Dean. <laughs> She's a hunt. <laughs> So I'm just now jumping in the lift. Laura has gone to a little free spa treatment, but I have just seen another oh, little duck here he is just found him where's our lift i think we've just missed our lift but yeah here's another one the gone family from michigan here you go we've got another little duck we're gonna re i think we'll hide him but there you go i did just find another one so interesting so fun so yeah laura's just up in the spa she's having a free um i think it was a free lady pamper session where you get a bit of a facial treatment and things uh, so i'll go and catch up with her in a moment but uh, yeah, there you go, just found another little duck. Just been filming some B-roll for our ship tour as well. Uh, it might do a little bit of a live shortly. Yeah, let me, where, do, where should we hide him? That's gonna be the question, where do we hide him? Hmm. So a lot of you have asked about this duck thing. It's just a little fun tradition. You just get these little ducks and hide them around and put your family name on them and things. Some people put their Instagram so you can tag them. It's just a fun little game to play. Um, around the ship basically they don't mean anything you don't get any prize or anything it's just a bit of fun so we'll find somewhere else to hide him we'll put him somewhere different four. Four. yeah it's just a good fun little game especially for kids and stuff trying to keep an eye out for them no just mess up with laura i've shown her the duck that we found how was your little treatment for the hour there it was nice you got a nice little face and you've got some cream for your chest and you've got like loads of offers on all the treatments that you do really good offers and stuff okay so discounts and things so, so you could have got that. the treatment that you got yesterday a bit cheaper if you'd have gone to this little talk not. couldn't yeah. you yeah we've got that given that that's right. gone down to 130 and it's gone up from 50 minutes to 70 minutes okay so, so you do get bad. some different little offers if you yeah, go and listen to them don't you yeah. and your face looks good feels yeah. good so we're just stopping now, we've just stopped at the little Vitality Bar. Laura might get a little bit of a uh, 
smoothie or something you're thinking, a little bit of a juice. Bit of juice yeah. Okay, nice. And then we're gonna maybe have a little bit of a wonder, maybe a little live stream. Nice. See what happens. But yeah, you're excited to hide the duck. Yeah, I've got to hide them. I've got no name on them now, the last one did. You've got to have found them, haven't you? I know, probably <laughs> one too. I was just wandering around filming B-roll and then there he was, on top of the lift. I was like, I had a nightmare with lifts. I've had a nightmare with lifts. I've been in about 10, 15, 10 or 15 lifts, up, down. Then I got in one, it just wouldn't stop at six. I was like trying to click at six, it wouldn't stop. It just wouldn't register number six. I had to get up, but yeah, I've been switching lifts and all kinds. <laughs> Well, we gave up on the Vitality Cafe because we were waiting in the line, what we thought was the line, then he changed the line and the loads of people cut in front. So we, we've given up on the uh, smoothie. Right, we'll have a little bit of a wander around. As you can see, there's a lot of pirate theming around. It is, I think it's pirate night tonight. Oh, okay, there's, it's also formal night tonight as well. So I think we'll see some uh, people dressed up tonight. Yeah, I'm super excited for the best show tonight. It looks amazing, the Aqua show that we're going to be I'm going sure to. That's tonight. That's tonight. tonight. It's both. We've got two shows tonight. Hi. Two shows in a row. Very, very excited for tonight. It's going to be a really good one. So uh, make sure you join us for that one. If you are enjoying the vlog so far, make sure you hit the subscribe. There's Starbucks where we were a bit earlier. Let's uh, see where we end up now. I go up to the upper deck to see what's happening out in the sunshine, Laura. Cool little feature that we'll, uh, we will show on our ship tour. But you've got little different... Uh, Bender machines with all your necessities in, toothbrush, toothpastes, plasters, you name it, rather than having a shop, you can just go to this little convenience electronic store and get any of the little bits that you might need, sun cream, little bits of phone chargers, stuff like that, quite a cool little feature. If you want to see more of the ship, we are doing a full ship tour, so do check it out. We are going to be showing all of the different areas of the ship including Social 100 as well, which is for 13 to 17 year olds. Pretty cool in there though. Well, we're right at the back of the ship here. We've got a gorgeous view as we uh, sail underway. Nice and calm out there at the moment. And uh, just down there, you've got the uh, sexiest man competition going on down there. They said I couldn't enter because I'd just win straight away. So I had to give everyone else a chance. <laughs> Laura's now gonna go on the ultimate abyss. You're gonna take the GoPro on it for us. This slide goes all the way down to, I think, is it deck four, Laura? Goes down quite a long way, this one. So we'll let, we stick the GoPro on, Laura. You've got to grab one of these mats. You can uh, go in, obviously, clothed. You don't get wet on this. And then down you go. So, you ready, Laura? I am. Nervous? A little bit, because I don't like sliding. I've done clothes, so Right, we'll see how you get on. When you come out, here you go, you're off Laura, you got the GoPro on, we're going to get a little bit of GoPro footage for you. Remember, you've got to be very careful with the cameras, uh, we've got permission to use a chest strap. Yeah. He did also say maybe you could use a wrist strap, but do ask permission. Yeah. Uh, you can't just carry cameras down there obviously, so do be careful with that. I'll see you in the abyss, Laura. <laughs> You'll be fine. Three. Was the slide then? Was it good? It was really good. It went really, really fast at one point, yeah. And it yeah. was all in dark, but then you got um, like lights above you and stuff. Really good. All right. Definitely worth a try. Yeah, it's considering it's free as well, free and to do it. Fine, it'll put you off. It's like you have to be physically fit, blah, 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 but it's not. No, it's, it's just a nice, it goes fast, it's a nice ride. Okay. Anyone can do it. There you go. Yeah, Get yourself on there. How is it, Laura? Boiling, innit? I know, we just come to a little hot tub on the side of the ship. It's hot, innit? Oh my god. I lasted about five minutes in it before I had to go in the little cold, little plungy things. Yeah, I'll last like ten minutes in it. Yeah, it's hot in there. 
Well, we're done with our little chill. We had a little chill in the hot tub there, which was boiling hot. We lasted about 15 minutes. Yeah. And now we're back to the room. We're going to go and get ready and see how we're feeling. We're getting a little bit uh, buffeted out, so we might try Playmakers tonight and then just pay for something different. I've noticed there's been no chicken on the buffet yet. No chicken breasts, no chicken burgers, no uh, chicken curry. So I'm fancy like a chicken burger or something tonight, which is available in Playmakers. So we might end up doing that tonight and uh, skipping the buffet, but we'll see. First of all, she needs a shower and a refresh. Well, we're all set and ready for dinner. It's uh, still quite calm seas, but uh, a little bit of mixed weather at the moment. So I'm hoping that will improve for tomorrow. Looking very glam there, Laura. So we have decided we're gonna to go to Playmakers and we've invited the whole family to come with us as well if they want to. So we're gonna give Playmakers a try. I'm fancying a chicken burger, something like that. Something that's not buffet. Uh, one thing to mention as well, I have just been on the Royal Caribbean app. Uh, on that app, you can join the Wi-Fi just for the app to talk to family members. Uh, which is okay it works all right a lot of the time mum and dad are saying you know the phone didn't buzz so they didn't see the message things like that uh, also you can keep a track of your account we have noticed today they are putting on those 16 dollar a day gratuity charges which are gonna add up uh, they are mandatory you cannot take them off what is a bit of a shame though is there's just gratuity on everything so although you've got that gratuity coming off every day you buy a drink, there's gratuity. You get a massage, there's gratuity. You buy something, there's gratuity. On top of the gratuity they're already taking every day. So bear in mind, it does start adding up. Before you know it, your account is up to a good few hundred dollars, mine is. It just starts adding up. Uh, you buy a cocktail, gratuity. So yeah, you are basically paying the staff staff's That's wages. Wages, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I, I don't know where that general one that they're taking every day, I don't know where that goes. Does that go to the room attendant? Or does well, I don't know where it goes because every time you buy something, they take a gratuity as well. On top of that, uh, bear in mind that the bars, when you buy a cocktail, they'll give you the receipt. It'll have the price and then it'll have the line, add a tip, uh, total amount and then the signature. I went on and nearly added a tip before I saw that they'd already added on a gratuity on top of the cocktail price anyway. Yeah. So you're buying a drink, they add gratuity on and then they ask for more tip on top it's of that. It's about 18% the tip as yeah. well. It's not, even a cheap, it's not even a cheap gratuity. It's not like a little gratuity. 18%. And then they're asking for tip on top as well, which is, I Very think excessive. is a bit OTT. But bear in mind, obviously it's what you sign up for. You you read the terms and conditions. You, and you book the cruise. you don't have to That's, spend any money on the cruise. No, you don't have to. But you've signed up for it. That's what's going to happen. But just bear in mind, when you go on your account, you're going to see that $16 a day starting being added on per person. So for me and Laura, it's $32 a day just being on here, gratuities. So uh, do bear that in mind. I've just been on the account there and you, you, I'm like, whoa, what have we spent here? And then you realise, I knew it was coming, but until you actually see it on the screen, it uh, does hurt a little bit, a little bit. But yeah, let's go and uh, check out Playmakers, where again, there'll be gratuity added on, of course. Uh, and we'll see what that's like, see whether it's worth it. I'm hoping we can have a nice, fresh chicken burger, no buffet. Yeah, nice. Okay. So we're just down on uh, deck five and I've got to say this little bit in the middle just brings it down a little notch for me it is a little bit tacky these days you know all the discounted watches and the, the chains and stuff like that I do think they should move away from it a little bit it's a little bit it's a little bit tacky for me that in my opinion I just think it's a little bit yeah I think it just brings down the atmosphere a little bit but yeah, everyone's all dressed up. We've got the live band up there. Doing a nice job, nice little atmosphere. Everyone getting their pictures and stuff. Well, here we are in Playmakers, and Mum thought she'd order just a, just a few onion rings there, Mum, is it? <laughs> just a, just a, a couple of onion rings to start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mum said that Mum's an onion ring. I did not. An onion ring, an onion ring tower seems to have arrived. It's massive. Well, enjoy your onion rings. And uh, I want to see every single one gone. 
They do smell good if you're into onion rings, to be fair. Well, it didn't go quite to plan in here. Um, the chicken burger, I ordered it with bacon and cheese. It came covered in cheese sauce. I'm not fussed on cheese sauce. Other than that, it was nice, but I just don't do cheese sauce. I asked for just I asked for cheese. Uh, then Laura's wings, it doesn't specify on the menu that they're breaded. So most, most chicken wings in the US are just what they call, yeah. But uh, here, they came breaded, so... Yeah, there was... But then with it, when it said chicken fingers, it said breaded chicken fingers, so they're coming out now. Laura's replacements. There we go. They look uh, really good. Thank you. So yeah, they have replaced them, but we did have to wait about 20 minutes for those. But yeah, that's more like it. That's how they normally come. They don't normally come breaded, so that's where we got made a mistake there, because Laura can't have them breaded. And the queue for the show is already forming, so it's quarter to eight. And people are already queuing up to get into the aqua show to get a good seat. Uh, so bear that in mind. We've sent Mum, Dad, and Sarah in early to uh, nab us some good seats. And uh, Laura's going to enjoy her wings. Are they spicy? They're spicy. I'm like Nice. Nice. So Laura's going to have this, and then we're going to uh, head on into the aqua show. I'm looking forward to it. I watched a show in the room all about how it was put together, the technology and everything, and it looks so good. So then, very, very exciting times. I am so excited for this. If you've seen this show before, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. They did just check your uh, check your app coming in. Check your uh, definitely down for this show. There he is over there. Let's get ourselves in. Well, hey, look at this. Before this performance, it's an important announcement. Due to the safety of our performance, flash or strobe photography is not permitted. However, if you do take pictures with your mobile devices, please be mindful of the screen brightness level as to not stir up the noise of the audience. Okay, well, that concludes another little busy day on the ship. Uh, the water show was, I thought, brilliant. Um, some of the family did say it dragged a little bit. There was a little bit of few sort of repeat moves and repeat stunts. However, I think a lot of that was 
them buying time so that the divers could get up to the top level, things like that. Uh, so it looked like a bit of a repeat, some of it, probably while others were getting different costume changes, going up to the stunt Yeah, you know, it can't levels. all be perfect all the time. You yeah. do have to have a bit of downtime in order to get the uptime yeah. going, if you get me. I did think it was good. It, it was, was definitely amazing. worth watching. I can see why there's such a hype for it. You've got to bear in mind, you're on a huge floating cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. You're sailing, I think we were sailing about 15 knots last night. And you've got someone doing a tightrope. It's, you know, you've got to bear in mind where you are as well. Uh, I did enjoy it. The only slight thing I would have loved in that show, if what? we're really going into it, would have been some songs that everyone knew. Do you know I what I mean? It was... few. No, I knew most of those. And so did... Really? It was yeah. all just generic songs to me. I thought they were just they generic beat, played news and everything. beat songs. No, they played oh, a okay. lot of songs. That... I would have liked, you know, a little bit of cheesy stuff in there, a bit of Michael Jackson and that. No, it wasn't you know... going to get cheesy. It was all powerful, strong music. Because yeah. my, my interpretation of it was they were warriors protecting us from something, somebody else from something. I don't know, but they were warriors. So it was all strong. It was all powerful for me. That's right. What I, I've... Seen. And yeah, the only other thing would maybe be a bit more of a storyline as to what was going on. What, as, as Laura says, there were warriors, were they protecting us themselves? But no, it was brilliant. Definitely, Definitely go and see it. 100%. Yeah, yeah, 100%. A lot of people, even if they couldn't get in the arena, they were stood around the edges as well. Is a little tip for you. You can go and stop, stand by the rock climbing wall and watch it. Uh, the rest of the day, it was your typical sea day, really. Always plenty of bits and bobs going on. You've got your little free facial, which you enjoyed. I went to Future Seminar, got a free facial. I also got discounts on future treatments if I wanted them. So yeah. definitely worth doing on a sea day because you do get that free facial and you get discounts. So if you can get your, your, your spa day early on, you can get your discounts later on. And, yeah. use it and use get your massages or your facials or whatever later they're on. always trying to get you in there to sell your stuff but you can get discounts so something to bear in mind and uh yeah hopefully tomorrow will be a good day we're going to uh, st thomas tomorrow so i'm looking forward to that one should yeah. be a good one definitely uh, if you have enjoyed the vlog please do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments your thoughts on the uh, aqua show there and if you've done it before i uh, hope you are enjoying these cruise vlogs there is lots coming up uh, including those two cruise stops, St. Thomas and St. Martin. So if you want to see what we get up to on those, make sure you tune in and subscribe. Uh, thank you all very much. Follow us along on Instagram. And yeah. uh, that's it. Cruise on, isn't it? Bye, Bye guys. guys.